Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're trying something that I'm so, so excited about, so proud of. Um, man, this is my first store pick. <clears throat> ever. This is the first pick that I had a hand in picking. Actually, I was the only hand in picking it um, for a local liquor store here in West Palm Beach, Riviera Beach technically, Inlet Harbor Liquors. And this is a Oak and Eden Four Grain Spire Select uh, store pick. So what we did was it's a cast strength Four Grain it's MGP juice, and we use an Amberana spire. You can see the, the piece of wood inside the bottle there. And, and that Amberana piece of wood, Brazilian oak, uh, does a finish to the whiskey. Now they also use big ass spires in the barrel to do some of the finishing, and then they finish it in the bottle with the spire. To compare it, I grabbed a bottle of regular four grain with a torched oak spire. So I really wanted to compare and see the difference between what their standard four grain release and my store pick is. When I, when I tasted the samples for the store pick, there was three of them. And I really liked two of them. One of them I was like, eh, but two of them I really liked. This one was my standout favorite. It is pretty far off regular bourbon profile. So it may not be for everybody, but I love funky, weird, adventurous bourbon, and that's what it is. This is a spicy monster. So I wanna try the regular first and, and kinda like see what normal tastes like, because it's been so long since I've tried their four grain that I can't remember. And then I want to compare that to my store pick and see uh, see what I did. I mean, I, I'm super proud of it. I actually love it. It's I love drinking it, but not everybody feels the same. Not everybody loves it because it is way off normal bourbon profile. Most of the people that have tried it absolutely love it, but there have been one or two that were like, oh, this is so different and weird that I don't really like it. And that's fine, that's perfectly fine. That doesn't bother me at all because I know that I like to color outside of normal bourbon profile and I love exploring. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try the regular and then try my store pick and I'm going to be as subjective as possible. Obviously it's my store pick and I like it. So it's gonna be hard for me to be super subjective when describing my whiskey. But I'm just gonna give you what I get tasting notes wise and go from there. So this is the regular. Oh wow, so different, so different. Okay. It's actually kind of bright. It's kind of bright. That wheat is really coming through on the nose and it's like a pungent, funky wheat. I'm getting that toasted spire as well, torched spire. There's some, there's some like really interesting wood note that's going on there that I, I actually really like, I really like. But this is, it's kind of, it's hitting me a little funky. It's, I'm, I'm getting notes that I kind of get in um, light whiskey. That's weird. Very vanilla forward, very pretty, but yet spiky at the same time. Lots of brown sugar, some baking spices, but the vanilla is really carrying the day. Okay, let me taste. Spicy. 
but mild. The vanilla stays through on the palate. Lots of oak. Lots of oak. Oak tannins, oak spice. A little bit of wheat. Not much rye burn, not much wheat burn. Interesting. The palate kind of falls flat. The nose was more interesting than the palate, even though the nose was relatively... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still trying to get rid of this sinus, whatever the heck's going on. It's driving me nuts. It's making me like short of breath a little bit. And so sniffing whiskey and tasting whiskey can gets a little <laughs> like... <laughs> anyway, so there's it's also almost a cognac note. Now, obviously, there's no cognac in this. There's no cognac finish. But I pick up a little bit of something that reminds me of a cognac finish or what have you. Really weird. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to my pick. And nose and taste. Cinnamon sugar. There's a, there's a butteriness to it. There's a meatiness to it. It's savory. Corn syrup. Something that reminds me of, of like burnt ends, like barbecue burnt ends. Jalapeno cornbread. And it's interesting, and I actually, before when, when I first got my bottle and I first cracked this open, I, ver I had to verify it for myself because I was like, what the world? There's a Worcestershire sauce. I'm sure I said that wrong. I don't care. Worcestershire, Wor Worcestershire, Washer Sister, Worcestershire, whatever. Sauce. You know what I'm talking about. There's a hint of that on the nose. And I got out my Worcestershire sauce from the pantry and I smelled it and smelled this and smelled it and smelled this. <coughs> and I was like... Yeah, it's freaking there. And then there's a hint of a smokiness, but like a barbecue smoke, not like a hickory or a peaty or anything else. It's like a barbecue smokiness. Oh, the cinnamon comes through in spades on the palate. Like hot tamales, but not quite as hot as hot tamales. But in that vein of, of spicy cinnamon, vanilla, creamy, it's, just, it's a flavor bomb. Maple syrup and thick. It feels so thick on the mouth, way thicker than the regular, way thicker on the mouth. And then you get like exotic or weird wood notes that don't remind you of regular oak. It's not like regular oak. And the uh, legs in the glass are retarded. Ridiculously. Ridiculously thick. Anyway, um, I also get a little bit of bitters and clove on the palate. And the finish ends with spicy cinnamon and that funky Brazilian oak flavor. It reminds me a lot of the Starlight Cigar Blend which is finished in Amberano, same wood. It reminds me a lot of that. Not exactly, but a lot of those Amberana notes transfer into this store pick. So I'm super happy to have done it. I love this thing. I, you know, I throw in the wax on it and stickers and, and making it look pretty. And, and I, I'm just thrilled to have been involved. Thank you to Inlet Harbor Liquors for letting me pick a pick for you. And then thank you for letting me buy half the barrel. So. I, uh, I hope everybody that gets to try it enjoys it. It is available to my patrons, so if you want to get your hands on a bottle, jump in my Patreon group and grab yourself a bottle. That's uh, that's the way it rolls. To get it with the wax and the stickers and all that stuff, you've got to be in my Patreon group. So, And if they don't sell out, I may make it available to people outside of my Patreon group, but we'll see. So, until next time, I hope you have a great day. I hope you're drinking good stuff. I hope your work week is short and the paycheck is sweet. Until next time, have a great day.